Hi there guys, welcome back to Geronimo's Kitchen. Alright, so fried fish is not a usual Wednesday night dinner. Um, more often than not, we eat uh, fried fish like on a Saturday, you go to Hellshaw, you go to Port Royal. So tonight we're switching it up a bit, alright? Uh, if you notice, I'm not even drinking wine tonight. I'm having a good old dragon stuff because, you know, you want a beer, very cool red stripe or Guinness or, you know, whatever you drink with fried fish. But this is Geronimo style fried fish and bami. That's what we're making tonight. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, um, we want to get our oil on to, to start heating because you want really piping hot oil to fry fish. So we have our cast iron skillet already on the stove, stove on, and we're just, this is, we're using vegetable oil. You know, I'm not a very big fan of olive and, or no oil at all. But since we're going to be doing some deep fat frying tonight, we're using vegetable oil, which I think is just as good, probably just as healthy. And we want to crank the heat right up on that. All right, so some episodes back, I taught you guys how to know if your fish is fresh. You're looking for black eyes, you see? Eyes are black, not gray and, and, um, and look, it. if it, it's gone gray, you know that something's, the fish kind of, you know, not so good. Tonight, actually, I, I, I was delayed because I had to clean the fish, I had to scale it, I had to clean it, which I, I wasn't too happy about, but we have it here. So our ingredients real quick. We have some freshly prepared fish, and we're using red snapper tonight, coming on the fish so then you can see it. All right, beautiful. And then we have some bami. I remember I told you what bami is. Uh, bami is like a bread made from cassava. It's made from bitter cassava. A uh, piece of educational fact for you. Bitter cassava is poisonous. If it's not prepared properly, it can actually kill you. Historically, the slaves drank poisonous cassava juice to commit suicide. There you go. All right. And then, of course, I'm, I'm going to make some pickle. So I have some... Uh, yellow onions there, some scotch bonnet pepper, pimento seeds, and uh, I julienne some carrots. We have some white vinegar here, and we're just going to pour that over it so that that can, you know, just marinate for a bit. Um, many people put this on the stove and, and heat it up, boil it, but I find that that compromises the texture of the onion, becomes real soft and soggy, carrot becomes. So I'm not a very big fan of that. What I like to do is just pour the vinegar over it, allow it to marinate, seep in for a bit, pop it in the microwave for probably about a minute before you're ready to use it. Vegetables still bright, crunchy, and nice. All right, so we're going to move on to just cutting, making our fish a little neat. You notice there's a whole lot of fins and things, so we just want to cut those off. And you don't have to cut them off, because. A lot of people like this part of it when it fried, crunchy and nice. But for presentation's sake, we're just going to trim those tails off. See how nice they look? Alright, so we've trimmed that up as best as we can. And we're just going to make some incisions in it. All right, wow, this knife is sharp. We're just making small incisions for seasoning. This knife sharp as hell, which is good. Just be careful when you guys are doing this that you don't, you don't cut your hands. Yes, all right, so we're just finishing up our incisions. And we can go back to the board now. All right, so on our plate, just we have some aromatic flavors here. We have a piece of onion, scotch bonnet, and some garlic. Let's just press this garlic out of it. And we want to just fry that off in our pan, which will also tell us if the oil is hot. Get some flavors into that oil. So that's onion, scotch bonnet, and garlic. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. All right, so we have, and for fish, beautiful. All right, so for fish, 
No complicated type of season. You don't want an all purpose, no onion powder. You don't want a smoke paprika. You don't want no cumin. You don't want none of that. For fish, just salt and pepper. Just like a steak. Salt and pepper. So what I'm going to have salt and pepper here on our plate. I'm just going to move some to the side. And we just want to mix that up right here. Salt and pepper. And that onion and scotch bonnet over there is smelling delicious. All right, I just want to season our fish there. I want to go inside because you know, say, Jamaican people love eat fish head, so it needs to be properly seasoned as well. But season our fish while we smell the aromas of garlic and onion and, you know, what's that you have in there? My God, smelling good. Right, so for all my peeps who can't cook, all I girls will like fry fish and so, but we want to get inside the incision, all right? We want to rub that seasoning in, inside. Open it, see there, right in, and just rub it in. All right, beautiful, mercy. While that oil is popping away, it's like you want to burn me up. Funny story, at one time I was frying some chicken, I was probably about 10 years old, and I swear to you, one Dutch pot of hot oil just turned right over on the hands. Weeks! Weeks, I was like, oh Lord, that ain't happening tonight, baby. <laughs> ain't happening tonight. All right, so show them inside that pot now, you see that? or the, them little aromatics we put in here burn out which means all the flavor has been infused in that oil yeah don't jump it's not going to get burned all right all right beautiful all right so we're just going to get a wash in our hands and you need to keep washing your hands especially when it's cold in time whether you eat it or not heat is on in geronimo's kitchen the heat is on i'm sweating like a pig look at me all right beautiful we want to get these out because i mean many people leave them in for the long haul but we don't want that. All right, so we get those out first on the side. And then the next thing we want to do, actually, we want to put our bunny to soak in some coconut milk that I have here, all right? We want to put our bunny to soak so it, it rehydrates before we deep fry that as well. Let's just get our pepper and salt off the counter too, all right? Fish is all seasoned. Can show it there, beautiful. Get a sip of this dragon here. Yeah? Yeah, fish seasoned and everything. Mm. Nothing nice at all. Uh, little dragon. So we have our bammies here, and these these are not store bought bammies. These I have a bammy lady out by Twickenham Park. She makes them, so they're not as white and you know, bleached out as the ones we buy in the store. So we're putting them in. Come in, show them. All right, we're putting that in, and then we have some coconut milk here. We just want to pour that over them. All right, and we're just rehydrating, giving them time to rehydrate before we fry, before we fry them, all right? All right, so we put that aside, and we are ready to fry our snapper. All right, so you can see our oil is smoking hot. We're just gonna take our fish, and you just want to lay it down. All right, see here? Lay them down. Lay them down. This is definitely one of those things that Jamaicans love. Primary and Saturday, you have a lot of families, and Sundays too. You have a lot of families that travel all the way out to Hellshot to buy fried fish and bami. Um, what a good thing I learned to do this at home. Matter of fact, although sometimes it makes a very good trick, uh, you definitely want to know how to do this at home. Wednesday Jamaica is an oxtail or uh, right, another rice and peas and chicken day, stewed peas. But tonight, we're switching it up. Fried fish and bami, right here in Geronimo's kitchen. All right? And Guys, this is why you want your oil to be piping hot when you start. Because when you add the fish in, what it does is it reduces the temperature of the oil. And then you don't want the fish breaking up. You want it to be crunchy on the outside, 
nice and crispy but succulent and juicy on the inside cheers from Geronimo's kitchen fried fish and bamboo radio yeah man the heat is on in Geronimo's kitchen fried fish and bamboo radio tonight come in we're going to turn our fish now and you don't want to turn more than once I don't know if I turn turn up this is man they look nice and clean look eh? man they look nice and crispy and if you notice guys I'm using I'm using a towel to do the turning instead of a fork and I am a very big advocate of not using forks to turn steaks or to turn um, chicken on the grill or egg because it pierces the meat and runs all the juice out and we don't want that but Lord have mercy coming on the fish and show them just how crispy just how juicy looking those are when I add my pickle to that oh Lord yes 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 so it's obvious now that this batch of fish is done the oil isn't sizzling as much anymore so you know that it's ready look at that a nice fried snack and we have a basin here with some hand towel to get rid of the excess oil we just want to lay that in eh? wow this looks so good wow 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 right in on it uh -huh. So good. We just want to lay that right down on our hand towel there. Wow. Mercy. That's nice. Yes, we're doing fried fish and fried bami tonight in Geronimo's Kitchen. Turn out the flavors again. Keep the channel alive. I hope you guys are subscribing and recommending me to your friends and all them girls from New York like Jennifer who cannot cook, cannot fry. Fish and bunny. She's here tonight to see it right on live, right on screen. You're the most kitchen delivering with flavor. Delivering on the star, baby. Right away, we just made our. Yeah. This is the last batch of it, alright? Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord. Yes, yeah, so this is the final set. We're just taking this out. Draining all that excess oil off, reaching for the other one. I was going to change the oil to the bamis, but what the heck? I'm going to use the same oil. So our bamis are all, if you notice, they're thicker now because they have absorbed all the um, the moisture from that coconut milk. And we're just going to lay it in, right? Right in. Right in. Right in. Mercy said no. Oh. Oh. Ah, beautiful. Get rid of that. So, what we want from our bunny, we want it to be crispy on the outside. Just like our fish. Crispy on the outside, but inside you want it to be nice and soft. Oh Lord. Smell it so good right here in Geronimo's kitchen. Our pickle is here too, ready. And of course, you know, I did some other cabbage and carrot slaw that we did on Sunday with our oxtail. We're just going to pop this in the microwave for a minute and then oh, dynamite. Nice. Right, come right in on the bunny here. You show them how we get in that crisp on one side. Golden brown. Golden brown, that's what we're going for. Golden brown. Seal it in, seal in all the. Nice, and we just going to allow those to get another golden brown on the other side and then we will move. Right? And once your hands are clean, we will tell you your hands are God. The tongues that God gave to you. We have some slaw here. We just want to put some of that right here in the middle of our border with plate or fish on. Huh? See here? Nice and clean. Beautiful. Alright. Microwave, pop that in, give it a minute, alright, and then our bunny, we're just going to take the right out now, see there, nice and golden brown, golden brown, golden brown, nice and golden, yes papa, that's all she wrote on this one, they said Geronimo's have the flavor, Geronimo's have the style, Geronimo's fried fish and bunny tonight, Wednesday night dinner, defying all culinary rules.
taking out the bam is just allowing it to drain. See there? Our bam is nice and draining. Let's turn off our stove here and I'm going to take the stove away. Alright? Wow, wow, wow. We are done. Mercy. We are done. Look at this. We have the fish, we have the bami, we have our scotch bonnet. Come right, come, come, come right. Look here. Nice red snapper, well fried. Our bami, well fried. Wow, the only thing left to do now, because you know what I say, the proof of the pudding is into the eating. We don't even need no fat today, now. You can never stick up a piece of bami. Oh God. Crunchy, outside, soft, juicy, and tender inside. I we want to take just a little piece of that fish here. Oh God, look at that. Perfectly so succulent and nice. Oh, mm mm mm. Some of that veggie. Nice to finish up there and some dragon. My, my, my. You just hold on here. This is Geronimo's kitchen. Fried fish and bami. From my kitchen to your screen, to your tables, to your living room, to your dining room. This is Geronimo's kitchen. Remember to subscribe to my channel, like and share this video so that many people can ah, dynamite. Peace out.